Mr. Oogie Boogie, and you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> As the first part of this costume, I'm going to be making Oogie's hoodie. All the supplies for this portion are from the dollar store because I am a dollar store ass bitch. I'm using a burlap sack and wire inside of it, hot glued. This will make it pliable when the time comes to actually use it. And then I'm winding it up like an ice cream cone and securing it with more hot glue. Go ham with the hot glue because you can never have enough with this kind of project. Adding stuffing into it so it will be self-standing. And cutting off any excess material. There's no particular measurement to this because it's strictly used to fit your head. And you know your measurement better than I ever will. Now for the sewing job, this is more for the eyes to see rather than the ears to hear. So I'll just tell you the basics. You're going to bend this in whatever shape you want it to be in. And on the inside side, <laughs> make smaller horizontal stitches from about halfway on one side to about halfway on the other. So basically it takes up exactly half. As many as you'd like down three quarters of the way. And then to join them together in making a few more stitches down the middle of each. And easily enough, you've got yourself an oogie boogie hat. For the makeup, I'm going to be gluing my eyebrows down to be rid of some of the texture and flattening them down with an eyebrow brush. I'm also going to be setting them with a translucent powder and continuing on and making the outline for the mouth. I'm going to be using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk for this because it's super easy to actually wipe off, but at the same time, it's super easy to apply as well. But you already know if you watch any of my videos. These next steps are incredibly repetitive, so here we go. Just put some liquid latex down with a disposable sponge. You're gonna want to use a disposable sponge because this shit will ruin your makeup brushes. Lay down a rolled out cotton ball over top. Drown it for its sins and manipulate it into the shape that you want it to be. You can either use your fingers soaked in liquid latex for this or some kind of skin tool. Continue on. While you're waiting for it to dry, I'm going to be painting my face and down with a brown water activated paint. I'm going to be starting off with a black base and packing a black eyeshadow over top. This one is Krupp from Makeup Geek. I'm literally packing, like we're touring across the entire world here. And then blending that out with a brown eyeshadow because we were working on a brown surface. The brown eyeshadow acts as a transition color so it's more easily blended in. Carrying that to below my waterline and continue. continuing on the mouth area. This time with a black water activated paint and then a purple for the edges. For the stitches I'm going to be applying some skin adhesive down, waiting a bit for it to get tacky and then adding some burlap stitch to it. 
continuing this step all the way across my mouth. And now ideally with this next step, you'd want to do it before painting, but I had a moment and totally forgot. So here we go. Again, apply some liquid latex down and then cotton over top and continue with more liquid latex. Build that up until your eyebrows look very, very concerned. And I'm going to be moving on to my chest and shoulders, painting a long line down my shoulders to my arms and painting on stitches. And to add texture, I'm just taking a stipple sponge and going back and forth between a dark brown and a white to add, of course, more texture. Basically, it just helps it to look more realistically like a sack instead of just body paint. Going back to my eyebrows and doing the same steps, brown wash of paint, adding texture. Eat what is about to be a prosthetic you're using and add some skin adhesive down where you'd like them to be and then stick that shit down. You can definitely stop here, but I did want to add a little bit more, some UV reactive paints. These babies are by Suva Beauty. I'm just applying whatever color coincides with each gummy worm. Pink over red, yellow over yellow, green over green, orange over orange, and then blending that out slight with my finger. These are going to be really, really cool in the long run because they don't show up too, too well on any skin or any prosthetics. As soon as they get activated by UV light, they are so fucking cool. I'm continuing on with the paints and stippling sponge again, and then all over my face, neck, and chest. And you are done. Happy Halloween.